So what we have here is an unboxing of one of our wireless energy meters. Uh, we're also going to do an installation on our breaker panel here in our office. So these are wireless energy meters. Uh, we use these guys to uh, basically see what different appliances are using inside your household so you can track down where your energy is going. And then you can also size solar systems based on the average. So uh, this is a good guy to start with and you can see where your money is going. So how they work. So basically it's just an unboxing. Out of the box, what you have is you have a manual, right? Talks about all different phases and all that stuff too. So how you want to do your install depending on how your panel setup is. You can also set uh, this guy up for different tariff rates. So if you have one fixed rate, or you can, salt, you can set it up for multiple rates, so uh, on peak, off peak, mid peak. Uh, what we have is we have a box connector, so that's this guy here. So if you want to mount your transmitter outside of your fuse box, like on top of it, uh, this is to bring your wire through. Then what we have here is our transmitter. Right, so this is what transmits the data from your fuse box to uh, your monitor so you can see what's going on there. Uh, there's a link button right away on here. Next we have these are basically amp meters right they just plug into the transmitter so you got two of them two packs of batteries one for the transmitter one for the energy monitor. This is the energy monitor itself. So you have a history back and forwards and you have a mode and set on the back. Uh, what we have here is basically you can put an alarm on so if you use too much energy it will set an alarm off. Uh, over here um, is basically just a link. So when you initially start up you press this button, you press this button, it will link and it will automatically connect. So the range on this guy is about 200 feet uh, from your transmitter depending on interference. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an installation. Installation, pretty basic. We're, this box is finished in our office. Um, so it will be very depending on how you finished your box. This was 240 volts. So what we're going to do is, screwdriver. Itself. So this one I only have two screws because the other ones have the most. <laughs> Alright. So that's the box itself. Alright. So now what we want to do is take our transmitters. Alright, so our amp meters here. So you see the line coming in. We're 240 volts. So you just want to clamp over top of the line itself. So if it's this line, all I want to do is there go. There's one. Just be careful not to touch any live wires. Any bare live wires. This is number two. Right. Now, so if your box was unfinished. All around it, to bring these wires up through with that connector and put your transmitter up on top. Just give you an extended range. So these two over here, the basic, we have our meter or our transmitter. Plug these guys in. You installed your batteries. So you press this button. Right, that starts the link. Just gonna put that guy there. And then we have. Our guy, so our batteries are in. Press the link button. There you go. You can see we're using 520 watts. Now you can see here, you can see the temperature, you can see your humidity, you can set your date and time. Um, you can do multiple things with this guy, and then you can wall mount it as well. Uh, and it also has a standalone feature. So um, th there's about a 20 second delay when you turn things on and off. Um, so if you actually look at it, I actually have a kettle down here. And 
there we go. So you can see it's using about 3 kilowatts right now, minus what we were standardly using. So if you turn that back off. There you go, using about 650 watts, standardly, without the kilowatt. So you can set this all up for different things like uh, car like car like basically carbon rates and everything too. So yeah, and you have history. Right, our average is about 2.66 kilowatts an hour. So if you want to size a solar system, you take your average and you can size your solar system by that. So we're 2.68 kilowatts an hour. That's what we're using averaging in this building. So these are available uh, on our store, um, uh, on eBay, also on our storefront on our website. Um, if you need more, um, we also can sell uh, directly uh, without going through the storefronts. Um, thank you for watching.